This is the law office of Judge Roy Bean. His saloon, his billiard house, anything else he wanted, this was it. It's called the Jersey Lily. L-I-L-L-Y. It was named after an actress and singer by the name of Lily Langtree. And the town of Langtree, Texas had already been named after a railroad person, but Judge Roy Bean corresponded with Lily Langtree and told him he named the town after her. One day, a cowboy came in and said, you misspelled Lily. It's L-I-L-Y, for which he was fined. Judge Bean had a reputation of being a hanging judge. However, there's no record that he actually hanged anyone. He fined them and took their money most of the time. May have taken their guns, particularly if they had one that was better than his. But he got a reputation before he even died. Unfortunately for the judge, he died a few months before Lily Langtree's train came through here. Probably a good thing for her. This is Judge Bean's courtroom. And his saloon. And this is original. And it was not unusual for Judge Bean to stop a trial in order to serve liquor to the people in the courtroom. And he was a character. Down here is the billiard hall. Unfortunately, the table's not here, but the table legs are. And the judge died in this room on March 16th. 1903 from pneumonia. This is the Opera House, Town Hall, and Seat of Justice. But primarily the Opera House, which Judge Bean built in the hopes that Lily Langtree would come here and sing. And I'm sure he hoped that she not only would sing for him, but also bring in lots of cowboys that he could charge money to, and they would get liquored up, and he could find them, as he felt that it was his duty to find people and keep the money himself. This is the inside of the Opera House. And as you can see, it doesn't look like any Opera House you have ever seen. 
Well, there's a reason for that. Judge Bean named it the Opera House in the hopes that Lily Langtree would come here, but in actuality, it was really his home. And this is the original building. This is the garden provided for the visitor center by the state of Texas. And it's just a shame it's not warmer weather. And some of the things might be in bloom or I would even settle for having their leaves. <laughs>